hi guys in this video we are going to discuss the problem c of today's contest which is charges which is particles so in this problem we are given with n charges with having some charges on it and in one operation we can remove a particular charge and instead of this charge we can place charge with value of its neighbors like in this case if we remove the charge with value minus one then in this position the value of the charge will be sum of adjacent that is 5 and 4 which will be 9 so we have placed 9 here uh, one point to remember is that while we are removing this charge we also have to remove the adjacent or neighbor neighboring charges and instead of these three charges we are putting a charge with value of its neighbor but if we consider a charge with leftmost value if we remove minus 3 then it will only remove and the value will the leftmost value will be 1 so at last we have to find what will be the maximum charge having a single element remaining so let us see the approach to this problem so you must have think that we can take some adjacent even integers number or odd integers number like if we are given what the f happening so if in this test case if we look if we take the first fourth particle and we remove this so instead of minus one there will be nine here right so suppose we are given charges with some value now don't think of value but what we can do this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right so initially if we try removing the left values then at last the right most value will be remained if we try to remove the left numbers and then try to re remove the right numbers then any particular value can be obtained so currently we know that the maximum value which can be obtained is summation of i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 v of i which is the maximum value which can be achieved now can we achieve some maximum value which is greater than the current maximum we have considered let us see suppose this is v of 0 this is v of 1 and so on right so now if we consider to remove this then instead of this what will be the its value it first one will be v of 0 so the first value will be summation of these two that is v of 0 plus v of 2 right and all the remaining will be this is 2 as it is that is v of 3 v of 4 and so on so let us suppose there is also v of 5 and so on now if suppose we took this particular value to be removed then what could be our next case v of 0 plus v of 2 now this will be replaced by some of its adjacent which will be v of 3 plus v of 5 correct and the remaining will be as it is now suppose there is some v of i and v of i minus 1 here will be v of i plus 1 so any value is exchanged with v of i minus 1 plus v of i plus 1 right so now the observation we get here is that we can get any odd indices or even indices so we can get 0 2 4 6 8 so any of the combination like we can get v of 2 plus v of 6 plus anything 
of this even indices or sum of any odd indices 1 3 5 7 let us see how we can obtain v of 2 plus v of 6 if suppose this is v of 0 v of 1 v of 2 v of 3 v of 4 v of 5 and v of 6 and suppose there are others numbers but we can remove them by taking the rightmost and we will reach v of 6 now can we get v of 2 plus v of 6 uh, let's see first uh, we will remove these two so starting will be v of 2 and ending is this so if we choose v of 4 as the charge to remove so it will be replaced by v of 3 plus v of 5 and it will be v of 2 as it is and it will be v of 6 so now if we take again uh, now we want v of 2 plus v of 6 now again we choose this number so we can get at last v of 2 plus v of 6 so likewise you can observe that we can get any combination of even indices or odd indices but we can't get summation of even and odd so this was the observation what we can do we can make a vector odd which will contain all the odd indices we can take even indices so it will be a decreasing value of numbers in even and odd indices we can sort in reverse order in decreasing order and we can choose the first maximum value in the odd indices or either we can choose the first we can choose the first numbers which are positive right so this was the observation the code is pretty simple I have taken input maximum value as any integer lying between the vector given make two e vectors e1 and odd and sort it in reverse order and then find the maximum value of the first positive integers and print the maximum value this was the solution of this problem i hope you like it